Okay, we left off with you discussing your strategy to get the shield back. Um, what is your plan? We were think. What were the limitations with the burrowing and the gliding again? Because I think basically it was just up to Crass to do his thing. Um. Yes and no. Uh, the burrowing aspect is great. He but unless he's going to actually excavate the shield, which will probably make it obvious that he's there, um, might be difficult. Um, the Earth Glide is an excellent way to find the shield, but it would then still be buried in the dirt. So you guys were coming up with different strategies to not break the surface so that they don't know you were there, but at the same time get the shield out. I think we were talking about going and using land room, right? That's yeah, you had mentioned that. Land room? Yep. What the fuck is that? It's a druid spell. Yeah. He, I remember him posting that one. Learn your druid spell, sir. This is the first druid I've played. Leave me alone. fourth level we just have to essentially sneak on to where we need to land room after i find the shield come back to you guys we all sneak to the shield and then land room on top of it and then you portal us out well, I don't think I can portal us out underground. We'd have to exit the land room and then dimensional fold. The land room is 10 feet below the surface. Good talk. Well, uh, has this still worked the way we want to use it then, if it's only 10 feet? Well, we won't know until I go burrowing for the shield, or earth gliding for the shield. No, that's fair. Well, the idea is you would then get a point to, to burrow out, right? The problem is you can't glide with it away, but you can burrow to it. You just can't make uh, it obvious that you have burrowed. And if you go in from up top, it's going to be obvious that you burrowed. So how would we do this? We would sneak to the spot. We could use invisibility spells or whatever. And then we could do a land room. We could all wait underground with you. And then whenever you find it, you come back, you you uh, dismiss the land room. Or we wait for it to expire, but it's dismissal. And then when it, it'll put us back to the surface, and then we... The next round, I can get us out of there. So we would burrow from the land womb to the shield? Yes. Okay. Because I can burrow as a thock for twenty f for 40 feet around. And I'm a medium elemental, so I should be able to just grab the shield. Or at least, like, nose it back. Or I could just burrow to it turn into like a fucking something else and then bring it back yeah but, uh it is also 10 minutes a level so isn't this like 90 minutes if you can do 20 feet around as burrowing then um we don't if, even... I, if i cast it would be 120 minutes if i cast holding my staff yeah so i was just thinking we don't even have to be that close then right because 120 minutes, we could be pretty far outside of them. If you're going to make a hole to the thing, then we don't even have to be in their area, right? Could just go laterally.
Or not, or we can just stay at the tree. That works too. Invisibility is fine. No, originally we had said that we wouldn't do it right above it. We said that we would do it in the distance somewhere. Oh, we did. Okay. So we have a plan then? That's what it sounds like. Wonderful. How far do we want to do it? It sounds like even even for 200 feet, that shouldn't take him more than a couple minutes. If you've got this thing for like 90 minutes to two hours, then we should be fine. Main issue is going to be get, getting there fast enough. Yeah, I want to say I am not sneaky at all. Yeah, same. So probably being like 300 feet should give us the safety net we need. Because even in the land room, if he makes a hole to the thing, then if there's a hole there, we could probably just help him, right? Yeah, we should be able to hide it, hide the hole better as well. Yeah. Okay, cool. So you guys have your plan? Sounds like it. Yeah, Is there any issue now. with doing a horizontal or closed horizontal tunnel underground like with the burrowing? Any issue of collapsing or anything like that? Um, There may be some structural issues that you are not prepared for, but uh, you won't know that until you get there. Okay. We'll trust Kras to figure it out as he does it. Yeah, you're trusting me to figure it out? Look, these are your magic, this is your skill, your area of expertise. If we can't trust you to do it, why are you here? Damn, he's calling you out. Look, <laughs> I don't know what you want from me. These aren't my, it's not my area. You got this. Okay, so you guys start the march back to uh, uh, Gavor. Uh, I think it's just a day to travel back there. Uh, is there anything in town you want to do before you head out? Nothing to buy, so... No, I was just checking before we moved on. Yeah, um, I'm good. Are we resting the night or anything like that, or are we going straight through? Well, you'd obviously rest the night. It's a day's travel. Can I ask Alec for help for the last check for Hujo to be a good person? Wait, are you actually trying to get him to be a good person? Well, you got him to neutral, yeah. so... I, yeah. Holy shit, you got him to neutral? Yeah. <laughs> yeah we got a lucky crit. BC, I believe, is 27, if I'm correct. No, it should be 22. We brought it down. To what is it, a religion check? Uh, I'm at, uh, yeah, I'd need Alex to help me with the religion part. Can we not have more than one person help? I don't know. I'm pretty confident on the diplomacy aspect. And I hit it on 22 on the dot. That's what you needed? Uh, yeah, DC is 22 for him right now. Uh, but I also need the religion for it. And I don't trust myself with that, and I think you're the best one for it. And you also know him. Uh, mine is, my check is plus 13. I, I Can mean, you, you did... I'm plus 12. I mean, if I could both help. I think you only get aid from one. Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, you both are very skilled with Sephimus. If I could ask you two to help, I would I would appreciate it. Oh, you, Kenny. You got one more on me. Well, now you fucked up. 
That's fair. It's still a, what's it called? It's still Three. a... Um, assist. There's my room. Hey, I got time! I think you can only have uh, two. Oh, okay. But uh, between Alex and Gabriel, you get plus seven. Plus seven? Jesus. Okay. Yep, three and four. Uh, let's see here. They're very quick to point out all your mistakes. <laughs> I'm very grateful for that. Yay, wonderful. We got it. We have a good goblin in the group. Um, I don't know if that is true. Oh, okay. Well, we have someone inclined to accept Septimus? I forget what the math is. I'm just looking it up. Oh, okay. It'd be nice not to hurt him when I cast my spell. It would. Oh yeah, it is one conversion check per day. Okay. So you've moved him from being uh, passively evil to passively good. In two days. He has seen the light literally from Alex. The glowing beacon of whatever that burning thing is. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> God love it. The radiant servant of burning shit. <laughs> Good job, Gucci. So now all you need to do is make him lawful so that he uh, is fully on board. Yep. We'll make a paladin out of him yet. What are you uh, training him as currently? Uh, he's a fighter. Oh, you started giving me fighter levels? Yeah. Yeah, ever since the... I think it was a couple... It was a level or two after we got back here. I forgot what he did that I said Marath acknowledged him. But um, after that point, yeah. Was he only got 41 hit points, though? I'm going to be honest, I haven't actually leveled him up currently to the current level now just 41 seems like an awfully low total when uh dd has 55 and he's got a really low total yeah no you're right um yeah that's oh well yeah that's from those like two levels ago uh let me update that token since i don't really use him for fighting uh i've just not cared about his token But he's almost to the point where he can actually stand toe to toe. Uh, I haven't leveled him up this time, so that'd be another six. Uh, no, that'd be seven plus two, nine more. Okay. He stood toe to toe with a bugbear. Like he's not uh, feeble by any stretch of the imagination. I'm talking about know. to actually be able to drop someone as well. Uh, yeah, yeah. He's always been a good fighter. He's just not your caliber of a good fighter. Yeah, no, he's he's hardy. He's accurate. Um, but yeah, compared to the rest, like compared to when he stands next to Marath, the damages are very different. I need to find ways to fix that. But for now, he's good. There is one really obvious way to fix that. Get him a better weapon. Kill him. His name is still Beefstock, even if he's good or not. You will never approach him with a pot. Okay, so you guys rest in Gavor and then uh, head out. It's a good thing you guys updated your tokens so that I can move you to the map where I already put the tokens that you uh, didn't update.
Sorry, I've been yelling at my dog and no time to update. I mean, he didn't. Yeah. Is this the map we're supposed to be on? Uh, I just moved you to the new map. Oh. Wait, I guess we have to travel there. We can't just portal there? Do you yeah. want to risk aging? Uh, we're all young. Yeah, dimension portaling comes with risk of aging. Yeah, we're, I mean, we wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. You know how you were afraid of it with fear? Well, yeah, it's, was just as high. Yeah, but fear could have died if he got aged. We're like the youngest of the races. Yeah, getting aged once will move you into the next age category. That's fair. Which for me is not a huge problem, but for other people it is. Yeah, if you like strength, con, or dex, it's gonna suck. If you have zen archery and are a cleric, probably not so much of a worry. I would assume everybody in the party is of the mature category and middle-aged is 30, so it'll probably take you a couple of screw-ups to do it, but um, assuming you're going to use dimensional folding on a fairly regular basis, I would assume that it's not something you're uh, going to be interested in long-term. That's fair. At the moment, it is the only mass uh, transport spell you guys have access to. Okay, can you guys see the map? Uh, yes. Okay, you guys are heading down the trail. You've been down this road before. Okay. I'm just going to step over the game. I'm so sorry. You'll be remembered. Yeah, don't forget to update your tokens. I'm going to be honest, I was really looking forward to seeing how crass this map again. Nothing like Jesse doing math. I'm seeing typing. Should I care about the typing? You might want to care about it. I'm just saying who I've got status on. Ah, okay, cool. I am going to cast a stalwart pact on myself for zero hit points. You're not turning your stalwart pact on until zero hit points? Well, I have diehard, yeah. Oh, okay. No, that's nice. And you have a fairly high hit point total. Oh, yeah. What stalwart pact do? Basically, contingency. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's a hit point contingency. You get like uh, five hit points, temporary hit points uh, for every two levels when you trigger it. So when he hits zero, he'll get uh, 20 hit points of temp, which will keep him standing and not under any penalties, and then he can heal himself. Nice, okay. Um... Die hard uh, still leaves you all fucked up when you're. Yeah, it still, still leaves you with uh, or staggered or whatever it is, but it still means I can heal myself. No, are you planning on taking hard to kill? Um, yeah, I'm going down that chain. Because that's super nasty. Being able to go to a ridiculous amount of undeath and re recover, especially once you're able to cast heal. Or as a paladin to lay on hands. Yeah, but lay on hands doesn't do much. Like it's, it's free action. No, it, it well it's a swift action, but it is it is nice in that regard. But if you're at minus eighty hit points, yeah, lay on hands damage. doesn't do anything. You need a heal. Yeah. Um Dee Dee is being told to follow Gabriel and defend Gabriel. Oh I scout it. So Dee Dee's Dee Dee's gonna 
to defend the toughest guy in the party and leave the living pin cushion to fend for himself. Well, she's like it more of like he's going to be in melee and she can get, or he can DD can get into melee easily that way. Sure. I mean, once Gabriel gets hit, that means Didi's going to start attacking. Yep, but Gabriel's almost always the last person to enter melee. All right, fair enough. Marath, go. Didi, follow Marath. <laughs> okay. And I'm going to shape. I'm just. Did you can just keep this token? I'm going to shape shift into a uh, uh, an eagle. An eagle for your scouting. Yeah. It's not significant today, but you might want to take into consideration the need to change shapes on the day you're going to enter the goblin camp. I'm going to need... Yeah, I'm going to need... I'm just saying, you only get nine for the day. You don't want to use seven of them fucking around. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, because I... What will what, what I need to save for that day? I'll need at least three that day. One for the Earth Elemental, one for the Thok, and then I think actually no, I only need two. Should probably just keep one more in case. Yeah, um, you may want to cast status on us when you are doing that, so you have a uh, like a reference point for when you have to come back to us. Can I learn status from one of you guys? What's in my prayer book? Okay, I just need a. The uh, second level status, right? To know where you guys are? I, I think so. Yeah. You're aware of their direction and distance to the creatures are in condition. Okay. Cl Clerk 2 is Druid 3, right? Or is it Clerk 2, Druid 2? Status is Druid 2 as well. Okay. Then just remind me when we're <coughs> at night to share a watch with one of you guys, and I will grab a status. Nice. Okay, well, I'm 80 feet up, and I'm going to start scouting ahead. The last time you guys came down this trail, you found hill giants uh, foraging near the pond. Yes. So, yeah, I will come here, and can I make a perception from here? You can make a perception from wherever you want to. Uh, 30 perception. Okay, you don't see anything. Yeah, um, then I will keep going. How far behind are you guys? 33 from here. Um, I think if he's there, I would want to be here. Oh, I think you could probably be here. Is Gutrick using a boat? Just have him go on Dee Dee's back. <laughs> you need to get like a little harness made for Dee Dee for Gutrick. When we get the harness so he doesn't immediately fall off on his ass, absolutely. Oh, he does have a ride. He actually could. Yeah, he probably has a good ride check and a good uh, climb check and possibly even uh, acrobatics. He does have acrobatics, athletics, and ride. So I got a question. Is no one in this party getting a cohort? Because we're already ninth and there's no cohort. cohort. How dare you? you yeah, but he's still not your cohort. Well, are you going to make him your cohort? I get, yeah. Really? You're going to take a goblin as your cohort? <laughs> I mean, haven't I technically already done that in this game? I mean, um, flavor-wise? You, raised him, you brought him up from, like, a, I don't know. I, I guess I'm not too sure what the question is. Well, being a cohort basically means that he becomes absolutely loyal to you. Um, it's whether or not you want that to be the situation. I, I don't care whether you do it. From a uh, RP perspective, um, I don't really care what happens with Gutrick, and at this point, he still looks at the group as being his best odds for survival. So, 
unless you do something to him or create a situation where he can go off on his own at this point he's just still acting out of self-interest he stands behind you and he's pretty much always safe and even when he's not safe the things that are endangering him are things that would just outright slaughter him if he was alone yep no that's fair um yeah i guess at that if he point, if I he mean... walked through the brout mountains he would come across a brout who would kill him on sight eventually and that would just be the end of the story some brout guard would go goblin and before anyone could react pound him into the stone and same thing will happen if he runs into hill giants or hobgoblins or ogres so where he currently is you keep people from killing him no that's fair i wasn't sure if like mechanically if he was the cohort or not but it sounds like that works then um then no i'm not looking for a cohort yeah mechanically if you don't want him to be your cohort it's not an issue cool. and if you later decide you want to pick another cohort that is also fine cool he is just an npc in our party pretty much I mean, we okay. have someone who has to attack the lineman on him, and he's good. Well, most people don't cast detect alignment, which is actually kind of funny. Um, I think it's actually called no alignment, but um, most people cast detect evil because they want to know if you're evil, or they cast detect good if they want to know if you're good. Yeah, and if someone casts detect evil on him and he's doesn't appear evil, they're just going to assume he's some super powerful caster then, with uh, what that like, uh, what's that spell? Uh, un no. non-detection there's a yeah. couple of spells that allow you to conceal your alignment uh, alignment sensing is mostly useless because the people who you can sense alignment on generally don't care if you know their alignment and the ones who do just conceal it and you need to use particularly high level magic to overcome the, the concealment okay you don't see anything from there Okay, are we going directly south? Uh, you're mostly going southwest, um, but also there's terrain, so sometimes you need to go south and sometimes you need to go west. Okay, 40. That should be some. Is that where you guys are? Are you in position, Gabriel? Did we lose Kenny? Oh, no, he moved up. Okay. I just wanted to make sure before uh, I reveal anything that everyone is where they want to be when things start happening. I'm between a rock and a hard place. In between my rock and a hard place. Your rock is dead. Hey man, I don't have any rocks to begin with. Oh wow. Rolled terrible. Okay. Then uh You notice a pair of stone giants foraging in the uh crevasse up ahead. And they. I am a small eagle, by the way. Yeah, but they're a big perception. That shield just doesn't look right on that token. Yeah, yeah it doesn't. Uh, it's I don't like that token. Uh, that's I, why I posted it. I had my original one, and I posted the that one, and everyone seemed to like that one, so I used it. But I'm not a big fan of it. Uh, I, I think it's fine. I think the only thing is if the guy would just raise slightly higher or something just to not make it look with a, a crotch protector. Yeah, the placement of the actual art might uh, need some adjusting as well. I can always change it. It's not a big deal. I just didn't have a lot of prep time this weekend because the power went out on Friday and I had a whole bunch of other shit I had to get done. Like I, had, I got almost nothing done yesterday, so... It was a mad scramble this morning. Well, I appreciate it.
Okay, so uh, they look up at you, uh, Kraz. You said you're 80 feet up? Yep. Yeah, I have it on my token, just how high I am. Yep, that's totally fine. I was just confirming that that was the situation. Just for the record, being 80 feet up means that you're minus 8 to checks on things directly beneath you. Yeah, I just don't add on the eagle uh, from, from a mod on my rolls. No, oh, I did there, but... I, I'm just saying so you know for reference, the higher every 10 feet you are, you're minus 1 to your check. So okay. you're 80 feet up and 80 feet back, that's minus 12. Okay, um, so they turn around and uh, point up at you, and we can roll initiative. Please roll good. I rolled good. Yeah, that's pretty good. I don't think they are particularly good. Yeah, they're... Yeah, they're minus five with both. That's not bad. For a giant at any rate. Look at that, a zero. Why are there stone giants? That is an excellent question. Um, it's uh, your turn because Dutrick won't be doing anything because he doesn't know anything's happening. Um, Do you ask them? I... What? Do you ask them what they're doing? No, fuck that. I turn into an air elemental and turn, do a three, uh, do a 180 and fucking leave. I'm just checking up the movement for perfect ability. I believe going at an angle is full. Or going down is double. Yeah. Yeah, anytime you go up, uh, you pay double movement. Yeah, I'm gonna go down fifty feet, and then I can think I still I can go over seventy five feet, right? Because if I, I move, I don't know how far you can move. Uh, one hundred. I I have a I have a flight of one hundred. Perfect. So perfect. if I go straight down fifty feet, that's only twenty five feet of my movement, and then I can go back to seventy five feet. Sure. That makes sense. Is that my is that math correct? Yep. We're so proud of you. Holy shit, I did math! And when I get here, I say stone giants. Cool. Gabriel, what are you doing? I do point towards the ridge with my little air elemental did, hand. So they didn't see us? No, they see. They saw me, and I came back here. Um, Is this I, like... A is this like a canyon here, John? On either side? Uh, yeah, but you're in the open part of the canyon, so it doesn't provide any cover. Right, just... But how high is it up? Uh, it's as high as it appears on the map, so on one side it's about 10 or 15 feet, on the other side it's only like 5 feet. Let's try something. You go, go. Interesting. Girl. It could screw all of us, or it could help all of us. I'm rolling the dice on this one. You've been hanging out with Jesse too much. I have. Oh, it might not even be in memory, so it might not even be worth talking about. Yeah, it's not in memory, so forget about that one. What were you going to do? I was going to wall off the cavern so they can't throw boulders at us. Oh, that's not bad. But I don't have it in memory, it doesn't look like. Normally oh, I have wall and stone in memory just for that type of shit. Okay, what are you doing then? Then I cast prayer. <laughs> uh, instead, I cast prayer. Then I guess I will move up. Oh, prayer and armored, whatever. Okay. 
What's their prayer bonus at this level? Two. Thank you. It maxes out at 12th level with three. I'll just move you there and take cover behind that rock. And I am done. Okay, Alex, you're up. The wall. And that's going to be it. Okay. Uh, then we're on to Marath. Mm. And technically Guchurk too, because he didn't go. That's fair. Um, well, I got to make my way up there somehow. That gives me cover, I guess, some kind, any kind. Yep, that would give you cover. Um, can DD follow him because she's supposed to be following. Him? Yep. <laughs> Unfortunately, um, it will not give her cover, or him cover. <laughs> I, I will <laughs> keep in mind, stealthing is out of the picture with DD. Got it. <laughs> Uh, just let me know if I'm still out. I'm trying to drown my dog. It should be nice. Okay, that was 55. Um. Okay, yeah, that will have to be the turn. Okay, and Guchirk. I don't think Guchirk's gonna need to split up a bit with the bow. Stone giants or stone, right? I imagine just hearing that. Can be hard to hit. Um, I know that's foolproof logic. Don't need to be impressed. Um, let's go here. As a double move, and that'll be it. Okay. I think I'll have the stone giants make a perception check to start. And they perceive all. And knowing that, they will move instead of just attacking. So he'll move down there and lob a rock at Kraz. This is going to hurt, isn't it? I guess uh, the answer is yes. Yeah, you're just lucky that they didn't uh, both stay still and throw all six of the rocks at you because that was what I was originally going to do. And then I was like, well... They need to get into position, and now's the time to do it before enemies close. If they're this... caught in that little cavern, in that little chasm, when everyone moves up, they'll start taking attacks of opportunity just trying to get out of it. Joe, do you remember? This reminds me of that time where we were getting pelted by rocks. Remember Tinker with his arrow traction sheet? Yeah. That was a fucking great time. I use my cursed shield of arrow attraction and I stand in the middle of the battlefield and protect all my allies from ranged attacks. Literally had like fucking six hill giants throwing rocks at us. And I had a stupid AC against them. So it's like, because I was a dwarf too. Yeah, that was the big thing. Okay, uh, so you take 26 points from the first one. Oh God. Oh God. I'm so glad I have a fucking magical flag.
You're 30 feet up? Yep. Trust me, I'm moving the fuck out of here as soon as I can. I wasn't able to double move because of the tree and shoot. Yeah, I was surprised you wasted an action uh, shapeshifting instead of just getting the fuck out. Okay, second one whales on you. Do I have power attack? You can't power attack when you throw, can you? Only if you're a war health. Oh yeah, did I mention they have war health levels? I can't tell if you're being serious. <laughs> He's not. No, it's their special ability. They only have them when they're throwing rocks at Jesse. Yeah. Uh, that I believe. 37 oh. points of damage. The rock from hell. I fucking... I would have died if I if they had thrown all six at me. Um, yeah, there was a very high probability you would have died because they almost certainly were going to hit you every single time. And that would have been uh, twice your total hit points, which would have killed you. But like I said, I thought it was more tactically advantageous for them to get into position instead of being crowded in that crevasse. Okay, then it's initiative. Although for purely viewing the screen reasons, uh, I wish I hadn't gone south. Because now I just increase the distance between you and the monsters. Raz, if you do go before me, delay to after me. I'm apparently till after me. So I can heal you right now. Oh, okay. 